What is the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Cooley back with another video. I know a lot of y'all haven't played in a decade, so you might be rusty or whatnot. This video is basically going to be a tutorial on how to play this game to its full max potential. Just a refresher, just in case you forgot. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe, man. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Let's go. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come to your setting. We're going to put our control scheme to tap and hold. And we're going to change your passive type. Your passive type is probably on revamp passing right now. As you can see, the definitions of the passing type is to the right. Um, you could go ahead and read or pause the video if you want to read. I'm going to tell you right now, placement and accuracy is the best setting. It gives you the most control over your passes. If you want to throw a back shoulder pass, this is probably the only passing mechanic pass type. That will allow that it's gonna take some getting used to but once you learn how to use it i mean it's a lot better than classic which is probably the last adding you play was classic passing nobody uses that anymore now this is for the rusty people i'm gonna teach you how to pass real real fast like just basic beginner course so as you can see i got an out route of 15 and out to x i'm gonna do three different type of passes the first one is gonna be a bullet pass the second one is gonna be a touch pass and the third one is going to be a lob pass and i'm gonna tell you every situation that you should probably use these types of passes in so the first one is going to be a bullet pass aka a dot you do this by holding down x not let go of x just hold it down while you're passing that's how you throw a bullet pass I'll show you right here as you can see overthrown overthrown because I led too hard. But we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. The second pass is going to be a lob pass. You can do this by slightly touching X and letting go softly. That's the best way I can explain it. Literally touch X and come up softly. Don't hold it. Don't tap it. It's like right in between. All right. That was a touch pass. As you can see, I let it out of bounds. Because I'm holding left on my left stick. But. That's beside the point. I'm going to get to that. And the last one we could possibly do is a live pass. It's going to be by tapping X. As you can see, the arc on the ball was crazy. All that good stuff. If you're trying to fit the ball in a tight spot, you need, to, you need it to get there as fast as possible. Like, say you're in between two defenders and you got the perfect, you know, perfect little scene. You got to get that thing in there or it's going to be a pick. That's when you're going to use the bullet pass. All right, focus on 84, the A button. That's what we're going to be throwing to on this play. Now, I'm going to do three different type of passes, and you're going to see what happens in each situation. First one is going to be a bullet pass. Now, you see in that situation, you don't want to throw a bullet pass because I'm in between two defenders. So it makes sense. That's the only way I'm going to fit that ball in there without throwing a pick, all right? Okay, cool. Now, the second one is going to be a touch pass. Gonna look at uh, RB. Now, as you can see, I threw that over the defender playing under, and I got it between the deep defender. So the touch pass is basically best for fitting the ball um, in between two defenders vertically. So horizontally. To fit a ball in between two defenders, you're gonna to want to do use the bullet pass. So horizontally, if you want to fit the ball between two defenders, you're gonna to want a to bullet pass. If you want to fit the ball vertically in between two defenders, that's when you're gonna use the touch pass. And if you want to throw the ball past the deep, the deep safety, the deep corner, whatever the deepest person is, that's when you're gonna to want to use a toss pass. If I want to get that ball past both of these guys, as you can see. The ball got past both of them. It didn't catch it, but it didn't catch it. But the ball got past both of them. If I want to get past a defender, let's say it was single coverage and I beat my guy. I don't want to throw a touch pass because he can pick it off. I don't want to throw a bullet because he for sure is going to pick it off. I want to get that ball as far away from that defender as possible. All right, of course, you have your pre play menu. Access that by clicking down on the right stick, like literally click the right stick down. And you have X for audible, Y for how route, LB for pass protection. This is all pre play, all pre play stuff. Everything you need. You can adjust your zoom angle for the camera. You can zoom in like that, whatever. You can fake snap with RB and you can show your play art with RT. This is everything you're gonna need on offense and defense. 
So let's start with an audible. X is basically the change of play. You have your, your preset change of plays for your formation. Uh, you can Y is usually gonna be your, your running play. Uh, LT is usually gonna be a short yardage play. RB is usually gonna be a play action play. X is usually a short route. So you have a pretty wide array of options here. Now we're gonna go back to pass protection. I'm gonna click LB. So if you hold LB on a pass protection, this is everything you need for your line. This controls the full line. If you want them to slide left, right, want them to do base, you want them to empty, you want them to do max protect, everything you need right here. You can even do a double team. You use double team, left, right, it's up to you. And of course you have your hot routes. This is how you change your receivers or your running backs routes basically. So if I want an X to do, uh, let's say an out, I'll just hit the left stick left, change it to an out. If I want X to do a drag, click the right stick down, like it says, drag. It'll do a drag. If I want to do a, a smart route, I literally just click RB. So basically what a smart route is, let's say, let's say um, the first down is wherever. Now if you basically hot route X and hit RB, which says smart route, this basically will put X instead of him running five, he'll run to the first down. So it extends the play. It's the smartest thing to do. That's why it's called a smart roll. So if, I, if it's third and 10 and he's running at five in, I'm not, I'm not gonna get the first down, obviously, unless somebody blows their coverage. But I have a better chance of getting that first down if he actually runs past the first down. That's what smart route is for. So as you can see, I can put him on an out route. It starts off at five yards. I do the same thing, hit RB and extends the play, basically. Running on this game is so OP. You can literally run 30, 15, and nine times of 10, you have a better chance of getting the first down than passing on here for some reason. I don't know why. It's probably the arcade game style or whatever, but I like it. As long as you have a good running back, you're gonna be fine out here. Like literally run a ball. You can run a ball all game if you want to. If you're not really into passing, if passing is too hard, the mechanics is too hard. Like I said, you can leave your stuff on a revamp passing or a classic if you want to but you will lose control of your wide receivers now i do want to get a little bit into basically what the passing accuracy uh passing type does so as you can see so if i as you look just look at x he's gonna run a fly right just throw the ball without passing accuracy just hit x you see how the ball is on a straight line great nothing changed Cool, whatever. Now, I'm gonna use pass accuracy to, to do a back shoulder pass. Check it out. Now, as you can see, the ball went left. Now you're in a one-on-one -on -one situation instead of a two-on-one -on -one situation. That's why pass accuracy is so powerful because it gives your wide receiver a better chance of catching the ball. It gives it puts them in better situations. So if, if I got two guys, which as you see on the first play, Two guys is covering this guy. He got middle, he got left. Now my, now my wide receiver is in a two, two v one situation. I'm not gonna win that. I'm never gonna win that. Now, if I lead him to the left, it now turns the play into a one on one situation. It gives my wide receiver a better chance, a 50 50 chance, rather than a 33% a, a chance. You know what I mean? We take what we could get on this game. And that is the whole purpose of pass plus accuracy is to put your wide receiver in spots that set him up for success basically all right so this is the end of the video if you want a part two on like running or defense please leave a comment below this was just passing for the most part if you have any more questions leave a comment below i'll make a video on it i'm out this thing if you enjoyed the video please like comment subscribe i'm out this thing peace